Do you want to learn how to install Android Q GSI on your Motorola Moto X4? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android Q GSI on your Motorola Moto X4. As you can see right now, I'm running Android 9.0 Pi stock with security patch as January 1st, 2019. What are the things which we need? You need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Turp Recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those. They are linked in the description of this video. As for the files which we need, let me show you what all files you need. You need copy partition zip file. You need lineage OS zip file. You need permissive or v2 zip file. Then you need the Android Q GSI. Do note this is in .7z format. So to unzip it, we will use an application called zarchiver. And then you need the twerp recovery zip file for the Motorola Moto X4. You can find links to all of these in the description of this video. Do note this is an initial port of Android Q GSI from the first developer preview so it is not a daily driver yet however we need to thank Irfan for all his hard work I have linked his telegram group in the description of this video and also linked his PayPal in case you want to donate to him another thing which I would like to mention is that Google is planning to release six Android Q betas so for the latest status or the latest video on how to install Android Q on your Motorola Moto X4, make sure you read the pinned comment on this video. The next thing which we need to do is we'll go into settings, go into security and location. And over here, make sure you have removed your screen lock, your pin, password, fingerprint, any other security measure which you have set up on your Motorola Moto X4. Once that is done, you need to go back, go into accounts and remove your Google account. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because we're going from stock to Android Q GSI and I do not want you peeps to be locked out of your own device. The next thing which you need to note is that we are going to do a factory reset of the Motorola Moto X4 which means all your pictures, videos will be lost so make sure you have backed up your data. Once you have confirmed all these things we will open the Z Archiver application. Click on OK if you get a message. Click on OK one more time. Scroll down and look for the Android Q ABGSI, which is this guy over here, .7z, select this guy and then click on extract here. Once the process has finished successfully, we will have a .img file called Q underscore AB and a version number. The naming convention may change down the line. Next thing we need to do is we need to turn off our Motorola Moto X4. Once you have turned your phone off, you need to press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till you see the bootloader screen or the fast boot screen. Once we are in fast boot screen, we will use the volume rockers to navigate through the options. Once you see recovery mode, you need to press the power button to select recovery mode and this will make sure that we boot into TWRP recovery. Once we have booted into TWRP recovery, we will click on install. The first file which we need to flash is the copy partition zip file. Select this guy and then swipe to confirm flash. Once the copy partition zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button. Click on wipe and then swipe to factory reset. Once that is done, click on the home button, click on install. And then we need to select the lineage OS zip file, which is this guy over here. Click on add more zips and then select the twerp recovery zip file for the Motorola Moto X4. This guy, twerp-patent.zip and then swipe to confirm flash. Once lineage OS zip file and twerp recovery zip file have flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on reboot. And do note our current slot is A. We will click on reboot into recovery and our slot will change to B. If your current slot is set as B right now, it will change to A. I will click on recovery and wait for my Motorola Moto X4 to boot back into TWRP recovery. Back into TWRP recovery, if I click on reboot, you can see my slot changed to B. We will click on the home button. We will click on install and then we will click on install image on the bottom right. Scroll down, look for our Android Q GSI image file select this guy on the next screen click on system image and then swipe to confirm Once Android Q GSI image file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on install 
and the next file which we need to flash is the permissive or zip file which is this guy over here select it and then swipe to confirm flash once permissive or zip file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on reboot and we will boot into recovery one more time but this time the slot will not change because we have not flashed a custom rom we just changed the system image to android qgsi Back into tour recovery, if I click on reboot, you can see my slot is still B. Click on the home button, click on wipe, click on format data and type in yes. Do note this is where we are factory resetting your device as in you will lose all your pictures, videos and data. Make sure you have backed that up and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right. Once format data has finished successfully, click on reboot system. And bam, there we have it. Google boot animation in the building which means we are booting into Android Q. The first boot up will take some time, so you have to be patient and hold your horses. There it is peeps, we successfully booted into Android Q, took a good four to five minutes. That's it for this video. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.